and and we've seen some of this starting to happen i think and um you know when i think back over my career journey you know in the you know in the in the early stages of my career in the 90s there was a lot more of a command and control style culture and the expectation of a leader was that you know everything that's going on in your organization to the point that you could almost step into you know a role that somebody on your team was performing and and execute on that um i think later in the 2000s uh even you know i was you know it, I, I remember sitting in meetings and basically you know, a leader would drag, you know, six of their people along with them to the meeting because they were in tremendous fear that they might not be able to answer a question, you know, on the call. And that was a sign of weakness or, or not knowing the business. And so all of a sudden you had, you know, half the company in every meeting because you were having to, because the culturally, you know, people, um, you know, thought they were going to be negatively impacted by, you know, not understanding everything that was going on at their organization at, you know, at, at, at a low level of detail. And I think what was happening and the reason that that was happening is because um, with the volume of data and the, the complexity of jobs was increasing exponentially. So it was impossible for a leader to keep up at the level that they had been able to in the past. And mm -hmm. so if they didn't empower their people to, make decisions and really um, do things as they best saw fit, the performance of their organization suffered. Yeah. And so I think this, this concept of empowerment, and I think it dovetails into human centered leadership where, you know, we're, you, you really, and you, you look at the engagement numbers in the workforce right now, and, you know, they're relatively low, like in the 50% range. And I think, you know, one, one of the huge opportunities that the leadership community has in business is to really think about like, what are some of those human centered approaches that can be taken? How can you get your, your broader teams, you know, however many levels you have in your organization to be, you know, fully uh, giving full input to and being fully committed to the culture, the objectives, et cetera, and have a, have a horse in the race and a stake in the game and feel like the work that they're doing, that they're empowered to do their best work to achieve and accomplish those objectives. And so I think, um, you know, the, the work world has been changing a lot and, 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 honestly like as i was mentioning earlier like the pandemic supercharged this whole virtual work environment right well now there's even i'll just say less control for those people that want to do command and control there's even less opportunity to do that because you don't have as much of a pulse on on your team and you're not having that face to face the required face to face interaction and so people have to be you know more independent they want to be more independent and they they have to be you know, individually empowered to, to meet the objectives of the organization. So um, I, I just think there's been such a tremendous evolution of the, how work is done and, you know, and, and that's shifted in, you know, what we all need everyone doing, you know, in these organizations. Yeah, no, fair enough. I think, um, I think to your point, it's interesting what you were just saying about the pandemic and some of the trends you know, it, it, I've always observed that as a oscillation, right? An oscillation between, you know, regionalization, localization, and an oscillation on the other end. The other spectrum is centralization and command and control, right? Or kind of, you know, headquarter driven decisioning, if you may. And oftentimes, you know, we've pegged that, or at least in my observation, I've pegged it to how economies move over time and how mm -hmm. businesses then grow along with that you know, economic curve. And then within businesses, then how people and leadership is impacting or is impacted rather, you know, um, and, 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 and how decisioning is, is, is described. You know, I, I actually, you know, in my analysis, Charlie, I found that the growth index of an organization or any category is directly tied to the ability of that organization or that society or that segment to empower independent units to take decisions on their own in a way that actually is driving the whole more purpose and mission and vision.